The pandemic has a lot of us staying home, sometimes without much to do. But the universe is giving us a good reason to get up early in the morning to see what many are calling the most impressive comet in years. Mike Armstrong explains. This is the comet Neowise, as seen over Switzerland, just breaking over the horizon. That's its tail fanned out behind it. Now, stargazers had two other comets in 2020 they were looking forward to. Both turned out to be disappointments. That is not the case with this one. Neowise is actually brighter than expected. Here it is shot from Burlington, Ontario, in the sky over Toronto. It's small, but spectacular. This photo was snapped by an astronaut in the space station. This one by an amateur photographer in Lebanon. It's NASA's official astronomy picture of the day. So about once a decade, you get one that is really bright naked eye visibility. And that's what surprisingly Neowise has become. We weren't expecting it. The comet is named after the Neowise spacecraft, the infrared wavelength space telescope that discovered it. It's been visible with inexpensive ground telescopes and even binoculars from the southern hemisphere for a while on its way towards the sun. As it's gotten closer, it's become easier to see from the northern hemisphere and brighter. It's rare that comets are so visible with the naked eye. So what is it? Well, comets are sometimes called dirty snowballs. They're ice and rock and dust. The tail is gas and dust blown off by the sun's heat and solar wind. The glow comes from molecules breaking down. As it gets close to the sun, you heat it up and that's what creates the tail. Now, Neowise survived its pass around the sun last week. That's when most comets disappear. This one's still going. It's going to fade as it moves away from the sun, but not as quickly as usual because it's getting closer to Earth. The show will continue for several days. To spot it, look low on the horizon to the northeast. It's visible in the early morning now, but as it gets closer to Earth, it'll be earlier and earlier. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.